I think you start every good cause starts with a small beginning. Um, it has grown from there uh, and it's got a long way to go. I started off in pharmacy in 1959 after I finished high school and uh, graduated in 1961. Worked for a local pharmacist in Holland Park with a few of my other pharmacist friends in Lyons. They decided they were going to open up one at Holland Park and uh, I was the obvious choice or one of the obvious choices and uh, we started off at Holland Park in October 1968. We had our secretary at the time, Bernie Stevenson, who had a uh, lovely young boy. He um, came along one, one time and said, my son has died of leukaemia. I, I wasn't even aware that he uh, had leukaemia at the time. One of our members at the next board meeting, which was probably within a week, said we should do something about this. Keith Ledger, who was the first president, and myself and five other members of the Lions Club, we formed the Lions Leukaemia Foundation, and uh, 1975, that was a fait accompli. Through Bernie, we'd gone to the Marta Hospital, and at that stage, they didn't have a blood cell separator, which was highly necessary for um, blood cancers. And uh, we suggested that we should go ahead and do it, which we put out a um, bit of advertising and uh, did, did a few projects. But the thing that really surprised me, the fact that the blood cell separator, the best price we could get was about $18,500. And we managed to raise those funds in three months. It absolutely blew me away because I didn't think you could get that sort of money that quickly for things. But leukaemia at that time was uh, in the forefront of uh, a lot of news and uh, many people came forward with uh, donations. We did lots of different projects, went to um, functions or fates and that around the place, selling ice creams on hot days and uh, cooking up potatoes with cream in them on cold days. Um, you know, I suppose in that three months we would have raised three to four thousand dollars from four or five projects and uh, the rest of it was donations. One one of our major donors in the early days was um, a person who owned a lot of cane farms near Bean Lee and his father had died of leukaemia and he just came in one day and gave us a cheque for $5,000. That kind of helped. I can remember one night when Keith and I were asked by a bikey club to go out to um, Bald Hills Hotel. They were having a, a function out there for one of their members who died of leukaemia. So Keith and I went out there and had plenty of drinks and chats and um, fundraising. We got a lot of money out of that night from the bikies. It was, it was good and uh, it was just one of the different nights, but yeah, one of the wonderful nights that we had. When we started, I believe the cure rate for children's cancer was 0%. It is now 80%. We want to get to the full 100% if we can, and, and we think we can do it.